Well, the humanitarian situation in eastern Ukraine is increasingly desperate. Thousands of people have fled to Russia from the bombings and the artillery attacks. RT's Paul Scott talked to some of those who've uprooted their families to escape the violence. Well, what you can see a few yards behind me is the Russia-Ukraine border. And for many people fleeing the restive east of Ukraine, this is their first port of call. It's a makeshift temporary holding centre. Now, the vast majority of people who are crossing the border have somewhere to go. They can stay with friends or family within Russia. However, many simply have nowhere to go, no one to turn to, and they're completely dependent on the Rostov authorities. In the last 24 hours, more than 600 people have crossed the border seeking shelter. The majority of them are women and children who are trying to escape uncertainty of life in eastern Ukraine. And it's clear, speaking to a number of them, that it's an emotional time. Almost every night we hear shootings, explosions, multiple rocket launchers. I can't handle those noises anymore. <laughs> All my children are with me, but my mother and grandmother stayed there. People are hiding in basements and don't seem to realize this will never end. The houses are bombed. We don't have anything anymore. It's scary that the government and the Ukrainian media are lying about things. They say they are organizing humanitarian corridors, but there is no sign of that. They don't let people leave and keep bombing them. Well, the authorities here in the Rostov region are being helped by donations from people all over Russia. On Thursday, 40 tons of supplies, including food, water and medicine, arrived. But with an average of 400 people crossing the border every day and seeking assistance, it's clear that in the coming weeks, more and more aid is going to be needed. Paul Scott, RT, the Rostov region. The head of the Organisation for Security and Cooperation in Europe has visited a Ukrainian refugee camp in Russia where he heard directly from civilians about the attacks in the east. If you go to RT.com you can read more on the ongoing assaults in the region.